Today what we're going to do is demonstrate how to square up a board. Every one of your projects that you do in here will require boards that need to be squared up. Every single piece that you have. Today what I'm going to do is I just made up for the demo here is I want a board that's 5 by 12 at the very end of the conclusion and that will be a squared up board. Now if you remember our squared up board sheet the first step was use the upcut saw or the miter saw to cut a board. I'm going to use the upcut saw on this. But now, if we take a look at our board, we have some obvious defects right here. We have some milling kind of defects, and there's some cracks on the board. Those got to get cut off first. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cut those off first before I go any further because I don't want a board that has cracks in it and stuff. So now that I've cut the defects off the board, I am going to take my board, remember I want it 5 by 12. So I'm going to take the board, remember we want to add, always add an inch, inch to the length. So I'm going to measure at 13 inches on this board. And I know my board is 6 inches wide right now, so it's a board. So I'm going to put this in here. I have it set up for 13 inches. Now I have my board that's cut 13 inches long, just a little bit longer. Remember, it's better to cut it a little bit longer than too short. So now I have my board. Now I'm going to look at it. Now step two is use a table saw to rip all the defects off. If I take a look at this board right here, I do not see any defects. Well, what is a defect? Here would be an obvious defect. You can see like bark on the end of the board. This board, I would need to cut this off. Let's say I just need a one inch board here. I would need to rip off this defect. But now defects can be kind of complicated at times. If I take a look at this board right here, it has a defect in it. If this is a cutting board, this would be very, very bad. It would, that's where things could grow and you just don't want that. But if this is a regular board for a regular project, does that defect kind of give it a neat little look? Here is a more intense defect in the board. You can see this one, see the defects in it? All the wood grain, the big knots and everything else. In the right place on the right board, these defects are kind of cool. So would I want to cut them off? Well, that's a personal choice whether you want to do that or not. Step three is we are going to joint the best edge. Now I take a look at this board. This is a great edge. This is a great edge, so it really does not matter which side that I join first. So now I'm gonna go to the jointer. Make sure that you adjust the fence. Get it so it's just a little bit. Since this board is above the fence, I do not need a push stick, but I can grab one, use one if I choose. Now, how many times do I push it through the joiner? It all depends on how rough the edge is. This one needed one or two times. Now I always want to mark that edge with an X because if it's one class period going to the next, I don't know what side I join it because I have a stop here because the hour ran out. So you put an X on that side. Now step, 
Step three, or step four now, we are going to the table saw and we are going to rip it to our width, which our width is, remember it was five inches. So now I'm going to go to the table saw and I'm going to rip that board at five inches. Now on the table saw, we in the table saw safety demonstration, there's a ruler right here. Use this cursor. I'm going to set it for five inches. Now I always want to come up here to make sure that Remember, one tooth high on the saw. We use the front wheel for that. Lock it in place. We're gonna pull that. Now, you have to make sure that you put the X, cause that's our nice side. The X has to go against the fence. Since we are more than four inches wide here, do I need to use a push stick? No. Can you use a push stick? Yes. Now I've made my board. I use the table saw to cut to the proper width. Double check. It is precisely five inches. So now joy at the edge. These edges are now parallel but these are not parallel to the edges of the board yet. Now the next step comes into play. So I'm gonna grab the miter gauge, move the fence back. I'm gonna come down right here, make sure there's no tools here beyond your working board. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this up with a blade so I trim the very least that I can, because remember I have an extra inch but we cannot cut too much off. So we're just gonna trim a little bit. Remember how we hold the board into the lighter gauge? Slide back, pull back, shove the saw off, wait for it to stop. Now I just made these three edges are now 90 degrees. Now we need to make this edge 90 degrees. So I gotta flip the board. If you have to, if you get preceded, stop, put an X on that board. Now I'm gonna measure 12 inches on the edge of the board, 12 inches. I'm gonna pick the saw blade up. Now, on the saw blade on our demonstration, we talked about teeth going one way versus the other way. So I'm gonna find the tooth pointing toward my good board. So I have one right there. So I'm putting it on the line. Precisely on the line, make sure we don't move the board. Reach up, pull the guard down. Pull over, bring back. Now, I have just created a board that is five by 12. Isn't this what I initially wanted? I can double check the measurements. The board is five by 12. Now I have a squared up board. Now I would proceed on to my next board, then the next board, then the next board from there on. If you have any questions, make sure you ask.